Let's move on now. Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett has come down heavily on Unilever. He has warned the consumer goods giant of severe consequences as its subsidiary Ben & Jerry's decides to stop selling ice cream in occupied Palestinian territories. In a strongly worded statement, Bennett told Unilever's CEO Alan Job, from the perspective of the state of Israel, and I'm quoting at this point, this is an action that has severe consequences, including legal, and it will take strong action against any boycott directed against its citizens. That is what the Israeli Prime Minister said. Now, the CEO of Ben & Jerry's Israel licensee, Avi Zinger, has said that he refuses the decision to stop selling ice cream in the occupied territories. He said that as a manufacturer and an Israeli himself, there is no way to say no to Israeli citizens. I refuse it. Number one, legally in Israel, you cannot stop selling or decide not to sell to a customer. It doesn't matter if the customer is in Tel Aviv or in Haifa. So legally I cannot do it. And as an Israeli, and as a, a manufacturer and company that lives here, there's no way I can uh, say no to uh, uh, Israeli citizens. So when they realized that uh, there's no way that I will stop it, they decided uh, not to renew my uh, contract. We on correspondent Susan Tehrani has sent us more details in this next report. Take a look. Anti-BDS laws are designed to make it difficult for people and organizations to participate in the boycott of Israel. Across 35 states in the United States which have these laws, 222 anti-BDS bills have been introduced in recent years. Less than a quarter of them have been passed. In the case of Ben and Jerry's, first, it must be determined and legally classified whether or not it is indeed a boycott, since different states have different definitions of a boycott. There are two potential areas where BDS laws could impact Ben and Jerry's. However, legal analysts say that it's very unlikely and it's very early to tell, and that would be state contracts and investment. Susan Tehrani from New York for We On. World is one. On Monday, Ben and Jerry's announced that selling ice cream in the occupied Palestinian territories was inconsistent with its values. The company plans to keep selling its ice cream in Israel. However, it will only be discontinued in occupied areas. Ben and Jerry says it would not renew the license when it expires at the end of next year. It says that it would stay in Israel under a different arrangement, without sales in the West Bank. Ben & Jerry's is a Vermont-based company. It was founded in the United States in 1978 and has been doing business in Israel since 1987. The decision was announced after pro-Palestinian pressure on the company. The decision that has been called anti-Semitic has been criticized across party lines. Bennett leads an ideologically diverse coalition. He has been a long-standing supporter of West Bank settlements. Yair Lapid, the centrist foreign minister, also condemned the decision. He called it disgraceful capitulation to anti-Semitism. Former Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, meanwhile, criticized the move on social media. He said, now Israelis know which ice cream not to buy. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.